today's luxury is almost undefinable. First, of course, you're met and greeted by some incredible flowers. We have a dining room here. So this room is set at the moment. So you see you can have a lovely dinner in here. There's even a TV hidden in the wall for those who have the bad habit of watching TV while dining. So you have a large sitting area here. You have some beautiful little pieces and sculptures. The fireplace. Luxury to our guests is what makes them feel good and makes them feel better and gives them a satisfaction in that moment. Little uh, dining area where you can maybe have your breakfast or you can just have a drink. We have, of course, a wonderful uh, bar here uh, for, for your drinks. I mean, uh, there's a beautiful cognac available. Of course, there should always be champagne. There is a wine fridge only for this suite. So part of our royal suite is, of course, also for those who need to work, that there is an office, so you have a nice big desk where you can sign important contracts. You have three TV screens right in front of you where you can keep up with what's going on in the stock markets or the news. Fabulous penthouses and fabulous houses, of course, have a have an upper floor, so we can go up to the floor above. So this is uh, the master bathroom of the penthouse. Then this bathtub, I mean, it's almost the size of a little plunge pool. So it's, 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 it's really beautiful and large, so plenty of space for, for two. So you have these Mary Poppin views of the roofs of London. And I just think that's amazing when you see this. I mean, look, you have it all at your doorstep. What kind of price can this command? So the published rate for this particular penthouse is £20,000 per night. We had one client stay in here for six months. I suppose a lot of your guests aren't approaching a stay with fear about how much it costs. I would hope not. If you had £20,000, why would you choose to spend it on a night in a penthouse? It's a choice that they have made. You know, they get something they need and they have chosen to make their stay in London the nicest and best stay. And you, you know, because right next door there was an option that wasn't £20,000, that was probably £450, but it has its limitations. You know, the 250 square meters suddenly turn into 45, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a just it's a different experience. 